Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far. So today we're going to be talking about products that are pricey, expensive, very, very costly to our wallets, but I strongly believe they are worth the money, worth the price, worth the investment for various different reasons. I've done this video before a long time ago, so I've tried, I think, to include all new products here that I did not talk about last time. Um, yeah, you know, you've got to mix it up, I guess. So the first products I'm going to talk about that are worth the money to me, I guess that's an important speculation because they're not going to be worth the money to everybody but for me these are worth what they cost me and they are the Sony G Pro Face Set. So this is five brushes, the Sony G brushes we know they are expensive, they are expensive but my goodness I've had these, I mean time in 2020 is a strange little number isn't it who knows how long it's been i think it's been a few months it must have been a few months because we've been locked down now for a few months <laughs> oh goodness me uh and they definitely were purchased prior to that happening um so yeah i've really got to know these brushes i've used them many times i've used each of these brushes for various different things um and i really feel like honestly they were worth every penny i paid for for them they are so versatile so that's the number one reason they are worth the money to me because I feel like these five brushes can literally do your entire face in all different ways every day of the week whatever you're doing whatever kind of makeup look you're going for this is everything you could possibly need and with the addition of this perfect teeny little brush for you know a wash of colour in the crease you can even do an eye look as well with just this set I love every one of these brushes they perfectly suit one my style to my skill level they help me do my makeup which is really important because they are just the perfect size shape weight density etc for me and how I do my makeup and my strengths and weaknesses I guess you could say so this one I generally use for bronzer this is the face pro it's just the perfect size because I have quite a long narrow face shape it's the perfect size and shape for me to bronze but not bring color too close into my face to keep things on the perimeter it fits nicely around my forehead it picks up the perfect amount of product without being too heavy so it allows me to build rather than whacking on a load of pigment which is my problem uh, and then not struggling to blend it out it's so soft it's never going to disturb anything underneath it's just perfect and you can really buff powder as well i actually buff this loose powder over my foundation using this brush today and you don't have to pat you can buff straight on top of foundation that hasn't even set yet and you won't disturb it because it's just so light and airy and um, this brush i don't know how to say the name of this one i think it's inoshiki or inosh uh, who knows pro um this is the one i probably use the least uh but it's a great bronzer brush blush brush powder brush very versatile but because i have other brushes i prefer to this one in this set i don't use this one as much uh but still a very nice brush and if you were looking for a heavier application then you would reach for this one but that's not an issue that i struggle with um this is the uh cheek pro so this is my ultimate dream blush brush it again picks up the perfect amount of blush perfect small size and shape for me to control my application and my placement and then the only fan brush in the world that i really enjoy using it's just perfect teeny tiny very narrow i used it um on the, i've got a weird makeup situation today because i've just done my half face of luxury versus half face of affordable brushes um so you may notice that one side of my face looks different to the other and that's why um this is the side i used this brush on and i used it with the hourglass um strobe lighting palette if you watch my review i very much struggled with that palette because it was just 
too much as you can probably see on this side of my face which I used my Sigma fan brush and got a very heavy metallic looking application. I've tried to sort it out now but it's very hard to control that palette without it being too much for my preference. This brush manages it, manages to do a beautiful melt into the skin natural glowy application with the most bonkers metallic robot like product that you could possibly imagine. It's just a delight. These brushes and my refer brushes, I would say the same thing about those, totally worth the money for me, absolutely make a, a big, big difference to me personally how I apply my makeup. So for me, these are worth the price because one, the experience that I get when I use them is so much nicer and so much luxurious and enjoyable. And two, the actual outcome of the makeup is better. Next up, Pat McGrath eyeshadow palettes. Now I recently did a video talking about Pat McGrath's customer experience slash customer service if you like uh which does have issues her website which does have issues the delivery the processes etc especially during big launches but taking that to one side and looking at the actual product which i have never had an issue with these eyeshadow palettes to me her mothership palettes her large kind of flagship products these are worth every penny to me again to me depends on your preference depends on how much you enjoy eyeshadow depends on how much you enjoy this type of eyeshadow but for me this is just heaven and i have there is just nothing else like it there really isn't especially these shades on the end i mean this one it's this is the Divine Rose palette, by the way, the original Divine Rose. This shadow, every time I put this on my lids, I have questions from people. What have you got on your lids? What palette is that? I love the fact that you get like three different shadows in one pan, like this shift of these shadows. They're so beautiful. And I feel like, again, given that I'm not someone who feels particularly skilled with eyeshadow, who feels like I know what I'm doing a lot, I feel like her palettes really help you put looks together. They're very cohesive. You don't need other palettes to make them work. I've got everything I need in here to, to do whatever I might want to do. And they're deceptive because looking at them, you might think, wow, it's gonna have to be an overblown, crazy makeup kind of day if I'm gonna use a Pat McGrath palette. But particularly this one can easily be very understated and very soft glam as well. So I feel like for me, there is nothing like it. These are the palettes that if I wanna treat myself, if I want to go all out, if I just wanna really enjoy putting my makeup on, these are the palettes I reach for every time because they are just so luxurious and so enjoyable to use. I certainly wish that the process for buying them matched that that would even make it worth more money to me. Like she could put the prices up if she likes. No, don't do that. Don't do that Pat <laughs> for growing out loud. Next up, another product that is absolutely worth the money to me because it offers something totally different and unique. And these are the Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. As you can see, I like them a lot. I do. I have five of them. I have Velvet Decade, Velvet Myth, Go Lightly, which is my absolute favourite, Velvet Jazz and Velvet Muse. Again, it's a treat to use these lipsticks. They are so heavy and weighty and they're just the most beautiful packaging. The lipstick itself is like a work of art. Do you see that texture on there? I mean, who else is doing that? It's just stunning. For lipsticks that are matte, 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 lipsticks they're so easy to apply and smooth and rich and comfortable in fact they even feel like hydrating on the lips which for a matte lipstick it doesn't exist like that all matte lipsticks are drying on the lips these just feel like heaven like heaven and the shades you know everything lisa does is just so beautifully thought out and just so well refined and you can see the time and the care and the, the like the processes that she goes through in these lipsticks they're just like nothing else my absolute favorite lipsticks i think they're worth every penny and they aren't insanely expensive either i think lisa's priced them 
extremely reasonably uh, for the quality that you get, for the unique experience that you get with these lipsticks. They are just a joy. Next up, a bronzer. And I know I've spoken about the Marc Jacobs tan, whatever they're called, Tantastic tantalize bronzers you know the ones the big ones those are really worth the money as well to me one because they're beautiful lovely bronzers with a gorgeous formula but two you get a lot of product and the bronzer that i'm going to talk to you about today is the exact same way and this is the new charlotte tilbury airbrush bronzer this is the shade tan the third shade i mean for a start this packaging is just glorious it's beautiful do you see how large this is nearly the size of my whole head and it is gorgeous this pan i mean see how flipping my whole hand almost my whole hand it's a gorgeous bronzer it's the bronzer i'm wear wearing today i like this as much as much as much possibly even more than I like my Marc Jacobs bronzer. I'm currently trying to decide between those, which is like my ultimate favorite. And I think it may be this one. I do miss the lovely smell from the Marc Jacobs. Um, this is it just here. It's so natural. It's the perfect warm bronzer because it's not orange, but it is warm, which for me in summer is what I need because my skin does get very warm. So if I continue to use cooler bronzers, they start to look more gray on me in the summer but this one it just blends like a dream you get so much 16 grams i feel like it will last you a lifetime so yes it is expensive but you're never going to need another one put it that way it's gigantic so it's very generous the packaging is stunning luxurious absolutely it's just beautiful and a joy to use you also don't use much either I feel like with the Marc Jacobs bronzers I probably use more and build them up whereas this bronzer you need the smallest amount and a little goes a long way so for that reason you're really getting a lot of value for money Next up, a product that's pretty new for me, and this is the By Terry Brightening CC Serum. I think this is stunning. This is the shade Sunny Flash, so shade four. This does for me something that no other product does, and it gives me the most stunning, glorious skin for no makeup makeup days. So I know I've spoken to you guys before about how, you know, and you noticed that in summer, my body gets very tanned and I keep my face as much as possible out of the sun. I do pick up sun colour on my face because it's almost impossible not to, but I do my very best. So I use Factor 50, I use um, a visor if I'm going to be out in the sun. I top up, I don't wear makeup and I just top up my SPF wherever possible if I'm going to be out in the sun. So I, I'm very, very careful and I'm always constantly um, exfoliating my face and skincare etc will strip any color that builds up whereas that doesn't happen on my body so my body gets way 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 more tan than my face which is fine I match to my body when I'm wearing foundation but on days when I'm not wearing makeup it can look a little strange let me tell you it can look a little ill because it, but having a huge difference I mean being pale is not an issue. Being fair is a glorious, beautiful skin colour to have. However, when your body is very, very tanned and your face is 25 shades lighter, that makes you look very ill and ages you as well, or it does to me. So this product is exactly what I've been looking for. I don't like, I don't want to tan. I don't want to apply fake tan. Um, I don't really, I'm not really a fake tan fan. <laughs> in general but uh, especially not on my face I don't want to put extra product or anything that's going to clog pores I don't want to put anything that's going to leave a stain or leave a color this it's not a tanning product it is not going to leave a color at the end of the day or anything like that but it just has a bronzy glow tone to it it's not a foundation or anything even close it doesn't have any coverage it's a serum with a glowy sort of bronze tone to it it leaves my skin so glowing and smooth and refined it blurs imperfections and lines it gives me the most glorious healthy glow and it just takes like the edge off the paleness to my face so it's not going to even up my face and my body but it just makes the contrast less harsh less stark and it's just beautiful the smell is heavenly 
it has lots of great skincare in there it is very much a, a serum a skincare product that's going to hydrate and give you radiance throughout the day and it lasts the effect really lasts i wore this for the first time for like a long day the other week and actually still after five six seven hours i could still see that glow and that healthy color to my skin so it does actually last throughout the day i think this is like a unique product i don't know anything else like it you get a lot in here 30 mils i use one or two pumps um only when i'm going makeup free it was going to last me for a very long time and i think it's stunning next up a foundation that's going to be controversial purely because it is so expensive this is the tom ford shade and illuminate soft radiance foundation now Again, I just want to stipulate, this is totally worth the money to me. I'm not trying to tell you it's worth every penny to you, but this to me, for the reasons that one, I love everything about it. I have a great shade for me that will work summer and winter. I basically went with a shade 7.5 because it's one that's definitely much lighter than like my body right now, but it won't be a case of come October, I can't put it on my face. So I kind of went for a between shade that works now and will work into winter to get my money worth, you know what I mean? I don't wanna to have to buy two shades of this. I will, but I don't want to. I love the packaging, it's super luxurious. The scent, the fact that you only need a couple of pumps to do your whole face and it neutralizes all my redness, it smooths lines and wrinkles, it gives me the perfect amount of glow that's not too much, that's not too matte, it's healthy, luminous, glowing from within skin and it stays that way the entire day without having to be set. It wears beautifully, it photographs beautifully, it is the absolute everything that I've been looking for in a foundation and it does all of those things better than any other foundation I own. So for those reasons, for me, it's worth the money. If it's not your type of foundation, if it doesn't work with your skin, if um, you know it's too glowy for you or it's not dewy enough or they don't have a great shade for you or you don't care, you know, packaging and, and things like that don't matter to you, then it probably won't be worth the money to you but I adore and love everything about this. So therefore, to me, this is worth the money and I have no regrets. Although I did get, I think like 10 or 15 pounds off. So maybe if I'd paid full price, I would have felt differently. <laughs> it's always good to get a bargain, isn't it? Next up from Charlotte Tilbury, her wands. Again, you can see I'm a big fan of her wands. I have one of each. I have a contour, a highlight and a blush wand. The shades I have are Pink Gasm. That's my blush, kind of blush, highlighting blush shade. Uh, this is Pillow Talk. This is the highlight that I have. And then I have the lighter contour wand. These, I just find they last for forever I, everyone's different in how they apply and use makeup how much they use etc this is my second one of these uh wands the first one lasted me over a year now i don't contour or cream contour every single day but i it is my favorite my go-to contour and i did use it a lot and it lasted me a full year so i think when you first see them especially if they're squished so this one is is new but you can see it's it's kind of sucked in the product kind of hides in there but it's it they last a surprising length of time if you use them how i do anyway and quite lightly but all of these are just gloriously beautiful i find them so easy to use they are my favorite kind of liquid or cream formula across the board as far as contour this is my favorite liquid or cream contour my favorite cream highlight my favorite cream blush the formulas are just so easy to work with this is the pillow talk highlight and it just you can tap it in you can use a sponge you can use a brush and you never have any issues with it disturbing makeup or you know lifting up foundation or products going on top of it they are the perfect formula and you need the smallest amount the finish of these is just perfect i find the contour wand is very foolproof or idiot proof if, if you're me because you just literally draw it on using the wand i know not everyone is a fan of these sticks um, the little sponges 
but I really like them. They make it very easy for me to contour because I don't have to apply with one brush and then use a different to blend it out. I can literally draw it on exactly the right size and shape and then blend in and it blends out so easily. It removes any fear, any issues with cream contouring that you might have. It's absolutely foolproof. Same thing with the highlight, same thing with the blush. It's so forgiving, very easy to correct mistakes, very difficult to go too much or too far or, you know, end up looking clown faced. It's it, They are just foolproof and they last for forever, even though lots of people seem to think it looks like there's not a lot in here or they're too small. They really do last a long, long time. Absolutely love them. They're a real favourite of mine. Next up, Natasha Denona's face palettes. So this is the Love Glow cheek palette and then this is the Tan Bronze and Glow palette. These are some of my all-time favourites and I think they offer such good value because one, you get this insanely beautiful packaging but you get four products in here. Again, a lot of product all together. How much are we talking? So there are all different weights in the amounts, which isn't helpful for me to try and do maths. Um, but you get three and a half grams, a 3.2, a 2.5 and a 2.8. So it's something like, it's 12 grams of product in here, which is a really decent amount of product. You get a cream and three powders in here, lots of options. I use this shade as a cream blush. This is a beautiful, very very glowy blush um, I'm not like most people a huge fan of the diamond powder I tend to use that on the eyes or just very sparingly but this glow impact powder down here is like my favorite highlight formula of all time I think Natasha because she tends to layer her glow she's kind of become known as the crazy multi-dimensional insanely lit glowing to the gods type of highlight but actually these glow impact powders are super natural and luminous and just soft and smoothing what like one off if not my ultimate favorite highlight powder I mean this palette is you can see how much I love it it's disgusting but again this one at the bottom is her glow impact powder and this is like my go-to natural stunning beautiful like everyday type of highlight that melts into the skin doesn't emphasize texture this palette in particular because you're getting a cream highlight two be stunningly beautiful powder highlights and a bronzer you can do your whole face and your eyes with this one palette and again they are expensive but you get a lot of product it's going to last you a long time you can use to death you're going to use everything in here all of the time i think it's such a clever purchase purchase i sounded like that woman off of Shit's creek then didn't i what has become of me. I hope she brings out three, four, five, six more of these. I love them. I think they're absolutely stunning and such a good value for money product because you get everything. You get a full face in there. Next up, a tool. And I know I talk about this all the time when I talk about products that are worth the money. And this is the Beauty Blender sponge. The original, the OG Beauty Sponge. This is a brand new one, which is why it's so diddy and so perfectly clean because my actual one I'm currently using is a disgrace and not allowed to be shown on camera because you would be horrified. But the reason this is worth it to me is longevity. I have used so many of these beauty blenders. I have tried a lot of other sponges that are on the market, I always say other beauty blenders, but there's only one beauty blender. The other are beauty sponges, etc. They have different names. I understand. I've tried the Real Techniques, I've tried Tarts, I've tried Fenty's, I've tried the, was it the Dior one? I'm trying to think what that one was from now. I've tried lots and lots of sponges, put it that way. Um, and while some do the job pretty much as well as the Beauty Blender, what I find a lot of them don't do as well is last and stay perfect for anywhere near as long as I find this one does. My beauty blenders, I mean, I, I clean them every single day, every single time I use my makeup, I 
use one in my makeup I will clean it uh, and, and I'm treat them real nice I promise you but they easily last six months for me without any kind of tearing ripping falling apart crumbling anything like that whereas I feel a lot of the cheaper more affordable sponges on the market will last a couple of months before you start to have issues before they stop performing as well before they start drying out or not picking up water not cleaning as well or actually starting to tear or crumble and this one lasts two or three times longer than any sponge I've ever tried and so therefore it's actually not more expensive it's more economical so for me the initial outlay for this sponge is a lot more than a lot of other sponges but it lasts so much longer and better than the others that to me it actually works out as a much better purchase for your money and last but not least this is the Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk eyeliner one of my favorite purchases of the year so far it's just an eyeliner I hear you I understand and I'm not even an eyeliner girl let me tell you this is the pencil that changed all of that for me I rarely ever used eyeliner until I picked this one up and now I like I find it hard to not do a little baby wing with a liner every day and that's what I use this for so I use this to do a little flick a little winged liner and um, this is the shade of it here just the perfect berry deep rich shade much softer and more natural and less harsh than a black liner or even a brown liner but the formula of this pencil is so soft and forgiving that even me with my large hands and my heavy handed you know over the top overzealous application can do a beautiful winged liner with ease in seconds using this it lasts all day you can you know manipulate it you can clean it up very very easily you can smudge it out it's just the easiest liner to work with the easiest formula formula i can't speak today can i that i've ever used in a liner and it's made me fall in love with liner and with wings even having hooded eyes i can now do a winged liner that i can make work with my face shape my eye shape even and i just absolutely love it and i think although it's a bit more expensive for a liner which is not something i ever thought i'd spend a you know more than a fiver on because you know who cares it's a liner but it doesn't budge it doesn't smudge it doesn't bleed it's you can use the slightest pressure to get a really crisp line and it just performs so beautifully that I think it's totally worth the extra money versus a more affordable liner so there you have it those are all the products that to me are totally worth the money that they cost I would love to hear what you guys have been purchasing that you think although it's so expensive it has been totally worth the money for you and how you feel about that product please let us know what yours are in the comment section down below and I look forward to seeing you in a future video otherwise take care for now bye 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 bye, bye.